Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another weekend tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to model experimental ceiling in Revit. Typically about this ceiling model, we saw it frequently in coffee shop and office ceiling design. Then today I'm going to model it just in case you guys struggling on it for your project or school assignment. Okay, so I think it's pretty much for in the user. Let's jump into our project together. Okay, before I get things started, I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about Revit, make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn all notification. If you don't want to miss my future tutorial because I got frequency posting my video for every week one. Okay, again, let's jump into our project together. Okay, so now we are in our model interface. Here is our preview. Before we jumping into our project, we will draw our hanging there and our mental seal here as well. And the framing for whole session or some kind of your channel structure that you prefer to use your project. but in the case i prefer using for the holo session still rectangle holo session still okay so for this project i will give you a quick instruction before we jump to our project we will using our two profile for curtain panel for two profile only we load into our project and apply with our hanging ceiling over there and i got my existing head hanging ceiling here so you can download from my description i will put link in description as well for this okay so now let's model our project first thing i'm going to open a new project first control and for shortcut key then just using our architecture template and it's okay one i done that revit will be transform me another page and for these two guys over there i will just keep reminding them i'm going to our file as away go to new go to family we will create two family for our PowerPoint adaptive. I will using our curtain panel pattern base. It's open up. One, I open that. Revit will be open another page again. So I'm going to select my panel there. Okay, first thing I will change this one first because the unit is wrong from my country. I will change it to in millimeter like this. It's okay. It's okay again. Then select our panel. I will make it for 1 meter by 1 meter for our panel. Let's apply. Uh, I think this one I will make it for 100 by 100. Make it for wire mesh profile. Okay, something like this. Then I'm going to select here all. Sorry, go to our point. Just take away press here. Then don't forget to set a work plan because we need to draw on that. Then set a plan. I will just draw it like something like this, hit the sketch. Then I'm going to adjustment here as well. Hit the tab key. I will make it for 5 millimeter. And here, here we will make it 5 millimeter as well. Okay, so you can apply it for parameter if you want, but I won't waste time on that. I will straight away go through to our project. If you want to create that, you will just create dimension over there. Then you apply your parameter here for apply the parameter length and height. And you can take a look back on my previous tutorial. I got a lot of tutorial about that. So I'm going to straight away do this. I don't want to waste time with that. We add actually form as you can see here. Then I'm going to apply for material parameter as well. Just apply it for material parameter. Um, I will apply it for materials like this. It's okay. Then I'm going to our family type. Open here. Come on. Then I'm going to give it for the actual red color. I'm going to create create new material. Then just rename it. Right click on my cursor. Then right click on my cursor again. Sorry, rename it. I will make it for blacks. Then go to our appearance library here. Straight away, our open up our appearance library. Then I'm going to our where is it? It's a mental sphere. Then I will finding for black color here. Let's apply. Then it's okay. Let's apply again. It's okay again. 
Then let's see our material there. Let's stick. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to create another family here for adaptive panel. Change it to family, then English. Then I'm going to using for custom panel pattern best again. Then again, we will adjustment our panel first thing. Then we will make it for one meter by one meter like this. It's apply. Then I go back to my model there. Just load into project. Load to our project to sorry family set here. Okay. Okay, something like this. Okay. As you can see here, around hardy. So I will take a look there. It's a family set. It's like here. Let's take a look. Our family is it load in already. Heaven, as you can see here. So I'm going to go back there. Our here is a family file. I'm going to load in. Load into family set only. Okay. Then I'm going to select our panel like this. Just drag away create solid form. Uh, I think we need to get our structural frame first for our rectangle hollow section point point here hit a sketch then set a plan set for vertical then for our rectangle hollow section since our model is one meter by one meter I will just make it for 40 by 40 millimeter then here I'm going to adjustment here okay correct one hit a tab key and then we will make it for 40 again okay let me show you how to give a dimension first the i for shortcut key you just drag away give it like this as you can see here but our scale is too big so i'm going to change it to one by five i think it's okay then you can select your dimension there then apply for a parameter let's say i will give it to le and gat length like this then this guy i'm going to add to height Okay, as you can see here, we got our parameter already. Then I'm going to select our profile, then our panel to create our component. Okay, so I'm going to select all of my profile again like this. Just take away create solid form. A split one, then select here, device surface, and adjustment it. Just make it for fake distance and make our U grill and V grill is hundred millimeter by hundred millimeter. Same as our profile, as you can see here, it's perfectly. So I'm going to select here, then right click, family file. As you can see here, in some case you could not like this, you will see some pattern on top there. Just because your property there, you need to change it to void. Let me show you first. Okay, this one is no issue. Let me show you first. Okay, this one is no issue. So I'm going to take back my word because it's no issue at all. But actually, for some time you will see this pattern still covered. It either you apply your structure here or this thin reminding. You can select here, then take a look at your property panel. Will be showing up around about there. It's a solid or void. You just change it from solid to void. Will be so that just in case you got this minor problem so now we've done that i'm going to load into our project just load it to projects 2 it's okay then i'm going to our view one again i load to project 2 also because here is our hanging ceiling sorry about that okay hit a sketch then just move it until here first then go to our let me go over view. I want to open my 3D here. Then I want to hide this guy over there as well. High element. Start from top view. Architecture tab. Then go to our ceiling here. Um, I want to create our massing and size first. Sorry. Go to in place mask. Like this. Then we will prefer using for rectangle. I will make it like this, straight away make it like this, hit a sketch, then let's adjustment our side. We'll make it for two meter. And I think we will make this here for eight meter as well. Okay, sorry. Eight meter, hit a sketch. 
uh, 8 meter is too big so I think just make it for 6 meter yep then select here we add form solid form as you can see here then I can adjust one here don't worry about that I will make it for just 2 millimeter device surface then just change it to one meter by one meter same as our pattern like this okay then i can straight away apply my profile over there now file is generating will be take up shoes again as you can see here then i'm going to finish it Hit a scatter a couple of time. Start from top view, then see um for shortcut key. As you can see here, then I'm going to apply it. Just apply it. Let me turn around first. I think I will apply center here one. Zoom in a bit. Yep. Then apply here as well. Then just to our center here. Just drag away, apply like this. You plan apply more, depend on your side condition. And this one, just a quick tutorial, I will just drag away, apply like this. Okay. I'm going to make more. Okay, here. I will just drag away a part of this so I hope you guys don't mind that okay this one not until the center here I need to delete it first see them again okay Like this, hit a scat, then just turn around. As you can see here, we need to fix that. Start from right side here, like, like this. Then um, V for move. I will change it to wireframe, easier to adjustment. I think I need to select all again. Just clip here like this. Hit a step. Okay, as you can see here, this one is quite realistic. Then I'm going to add another ceiling again. Start from top view again. Okay, change it to hidden line. Architecture tab ceiling. Sketch ceiling. Rectangle. Straight away add like this. Actually, this one is a slab but i draw a ceiling as a reference then i'm going to finish it start from front here a v for move or you can align it hit a sketch and i can change it to graphic display option Okay, as you can see here, as you can see here, then here you need to move more, actually, I will move it more, okay, as you can see here, that's how you can create your mental ceiling in Revit, okay guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial, just a quick tutorial for you guys in case you're struggling on that, thank you guys for watching from start to finish, and if you like this tutorial, make sure like and subscribe, and thumbs up for future tutorial. Thank you for watching again. I see you for another tutorial in Revis and have a nice weekend. Thank you.